British government paid Igbo governors to destroy Biafra agitation and restoration. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Contrary to what you have been hearing, here today we are going to tell you the truth. What is happening? Or should I say what has been happening in Biafra land that you don't know? Before Mazen Namde Kano was kidnapped with the help of British government and Igbo governors, British government waited so patiently while he was broadcasting, hitting them so hard, including their so called Katina Lang, who happens to be. British Envoy, High Commission in Nigeria. They waited for what to do. They did not see any because they were contemplating in arresting him in England, but they were afraid that he would be released so easily because every eyes of the world will be watching them considering how they claim to believe so much in freedom after some time they contacted two Igbo governors whom were then looking for a way to frustrate the struggle and numb the Kano because they saw him as a threat. They claim he was trying to take over their state because he was becoming so much relevance and people obeyed him without even forcing them to. And before they collaborated with British government, they first of all tried several things while Nam de Kalo was ordering sit at home. Even though sit at home then was not for election. Some of them are the days that we are having an independence of Biafra. And what these governors was doing is they were doing everything possible to cause confusion. Do you start to cause confusion? And later on, the Caliph find that and they caution them, and the other things stopped. When they saw that, that they could not succeed in using our people to fight those of IPOB, what they did when the British High Commission Katina Lang contacted them and explain to them what British government want. They accepted it immediately with millions and millions in hundreds of dollars paid to them. With millions and millions of dollars paid to them. And then on the canal, plan started how to kidnap him. British government were the people who planned everything. Though some people sold his movement where he was. And before then, the so-called DSS, some of you claim, that was contacted was already there in Kenya waiting this was a mission created by British government because they became tired that if they continue this way that Biafrans will be restored 
and everything they have been getting free from Biafrans will stop. After Namdi Kano was kidnapped, they tried confusing him in DSS custody, he refused. This, con this thing I'm telling you started in Kenya. They started convinced, trying to convince him in Kenya, he refused. That brings about the torture that he went through in Kenya. Later on, they brought him, brought him back to Nigeria. The same thing started. But he continued. They tried to cajole him, cajole him. He refused. Totally. Now they decided to switch on to plan B. And what is that plan B? The plan B is the Igbo governance. To create a confusion in Igbo land. And don't forget that David Omar has threatened before that he will create confusion in Igbo land against Namdekan. So what this man did was to create confusion in Igbo land by creating criminals in the name of whatever. What they do, they pay them, they cause confusion, they blame ghost distance and this is what they will be, they will be doing continuously until ESCN is a terrorist group from by the war power. Haven't you seen the last index? The last terrorist index? What went on there? What I'm trying to tell you right now is British government is enjoying the games they are playing. Since it cannot, cannot accept their offer and drop their attention, they must use our people to cause confusion, to destroy our movement, to destroy Biafra struggle, to destroy Biafra rest restoration, to destroy ESN after ESN is created by Nam Dekan. This is the plan. And this is their plan B that you don't know about. I have continued to tell you those of you who claim you believe in Biafra struggle, that there's a way to go about things. If not, if you are too much confident, you will be destroyed. Men who are trained, reason, men like us. This I've told you. I want any of you who they close to that man called Evo Ma, he was not them man, to openly swear with Hamadion, even though some of our oracle is not destroyed by DSS because of how they venture into our forest to cause several things to destroy our oracle. But I, for me, I think Hamadion is still active. I want those of them and they for my to swear with Hamadion openly for the public to see, for Biafran to see if what I'm saying here today is not the truth. If they can't succeed in doing that openly, then you wait for some time, nothing happened to them. Now, don't listen to me anymore. Don't listen to me anymore. What I'm telling you today you will hear in time to come. Maybe by turning on the Carlos release. Everything will be exposed. You will see it. Kuro, kuro, and hear it with your ear. This is why I no longer talk too much. I've tried my best. If you people refuse to listen, well, I have no other choice to keep quiet and go on with my news. Our brothers should be careful on whatever they do. They should be careful whatever they do because there's a plan B game going on right now. And that plan B game is killing off our people to get them to retaliate. That is why CESN are not going around attacking this unknown government, some of them who are killing our people. Because that is exactly what they are expecting them to do. So that they will say, you see it, they are terrorists.
I will no longer talk too much. Stay blessed. Cheers. <laughs>